Why are black people so tall? Why? Because they're Negroes. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, body people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You fought too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, we got some more Fannie Willis. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry if you guys don't want to hear about this anymore. I know, I get it. But it's fascinating. She, I find her fascinating. Because when she was running against Paul Howard, the DA, the former DA, she accused of this guy about sex and stealing money and unethical things. And to come to find out, she's the same thing. There's an old saying, when you point your finger at somebody, you got four pointing back at you. Well, actually three. But yeah, Fanny Woods was love to point, 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 point. And come to find out she's a corrupted one. The district attorney's office in Fulton should be the beacon of the Southeast. It should be the absolute best office between Washington, D.C. and Miami. And right now what you have is a office of dysfunction and corruption. <laughs> so now we have text messages. And uh, for, for, for these two to be lawyers, man, they got to be the most dumbest out here, you know. In the digital age, the videotape age, we have your fingerprints everywhere. You know what I'm saying? We could pull up receipts. So they asked Mr. Wade, in 2021, how many times have you visited Fanny's Fanny? And he says this. Prior to November 1st of 2021, you were at the condo more than 10 times? No, sir. So it'd be less than 10 times. Yes, sir. So if phone records were to reflect that you were making phone calls from the same location as the condo before November uh, 1st of 2021, and it was on multiple occasions, the phone records would be wrong? If phone records reflected that, yes, sir. They'd be wrong. They'd be wrong. Okay. <laughs> wow, this guy's under oath, a lawyer. Again, he's not the one that we want. All right, Mr. Wade. You might get, you, you're not the one we want. We want Miss Fanny. And they asked Miss Fanny, did any of your security details dropped off Mr. Wade at your residence? And she says this. Please give me the time period. That <laughs> Mr. Wade about. visits you at the place you laid your head. When? Has he ever visited you at the place you laid your head? So let's be clear because you've lied in this, this. Let me tell you which one you lied in right here. I think you lied right here. No, 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 no. This is the truth, Judge. And this it, is, it, it is a lie. God damn. The year 2021, 35 times he's been, well, not with they saying his phone was at her residence. 35 times in that same year. And of course, they're going to say, nah, we're black folks and we do things different. We leave our phones here. We leave our phones there. They're going to use some silly excuse like that. I don't know. But 35 times, thousands of texts between them. An explosive court filing in Atlanta today, now raising new questions about Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and the relationship that she had with the special prosecutor that she hired to oversee the election interference case against former President Donald Trump. Cell phone data obtained by Trump's legal team shows Nathan Wade, that special prosecutor, visited Willis's neighborhood at least 35 times in the 11 months before Willis hired him in late 2021. Twice, Wade arrived late at night and left early the following morning. The data shows about 2,000 calls and 12,000 text messages between Wade and Willis from January to November 2021. 
why this matters. The timeline is everything in this case. Now we have here the top cop in Fulton County. The top cop in Fulton County used cell phone geolocation data to put criminals away before. Now that they're using that to pinpoint Mr. Wade in her residence, she says, no, 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 can't trust the data. <laughs> Unbelievable. Is she, is she serious? She can't be serious. Now all of a sudden the data's no good, you can't trust the data. How many criminals have you put away, Miss uh, Miss Willis, using the same data, the cell, the same cell phone geolocation data? How many times have you put a criminals away using that? And now all of a sudden you can't trust the data. Right. This it, is, it, it is a lot. Now let's say this was a white woman, a white Republican woman going after Hunter Biden or Joe Biden, and she got caught up in this, they would have they swung her up by now. She would have been disbarred. She would have been tarred and feathered. They, you know what? They would have put her in an electric chair live on TV. But, you know, nowadays, you know, certain people, certain demographics get some special privileges. And I'm not talking about black men either. I'm talking about these guys here. The city girls. Yeah, they get special privileges here. Because everybody afraid of them. No. Everybody scared of them. You know? So, it's a new world. <laughs> anyway, that's my thought for the day, guys. If you got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And you big booty fannies, get off my lawn.